Hello and welcome. If you want to create designs to be used for marketing, printing, other revenue possibilities, just follow the steps in this tutorial. It should help you out uh, quite a bit, actually. To start, we'll be working with a generative AI app called Night Cafe, Night Cafe Studios. It's likely easiest if you're a current Night Cafe user, but if you're not, just go sign up uh, under a free plan. You'll get some free credits to start, and you can actually start working with this right away. And uh, let's dive in. So you can go directly to the Create Interface by clicking or pressing the red plus sign that you see at the bottom of the Night Cafe screen. I found that it's easiest to work from the top to the bottom when creating, um, but you can do however your flow works for you. First, choose to generate a model that you're going to use. Um, in this case, this is a model that's really made for cartoons, um, rich colors, that sort of thing. And, uh, and each model has a short description, so you can actually read it before you select the model and see what's best for what you want to make. In this case, like I said, I'm using it to create a clear animated style that's going to look like a polished digital illustration when we're done. A good tip is to keep the idea simple for the prompt. So let's get into the prompt here. Uh, steampunk cat right? <laughs> uh, any subject really, but steampunk is a highly visual aesthetic and will usually generate good looking results. The AI is used in steampunk creations a lot probably and therefore kind of knows what to render without a lot of extra details. Uh, now follow the subject with quote circular design unquote. This is basically telling the AI you want the main image to be contained in a circle uh, that's very helpful for design work if it comes out in a circle already and then you can uh, kind of clear away what's around it to use it to make a workable design later we'll get to that and next selecting uh, or typing in deep color that's telling again you're just kind of coaching the AI along you're telling it that you want strong vibrant looking colors which are really great for printing or logo art and next thing Add in something like die cut sticker design. Um, you may not be using it for a sticker or any sort of die cut, but what a die cut means is that it's creating a clear edge around so it's not blending together with the background. The next thing I put in is the words highly polished. This is just another nudge to the AI to make it look professional. And then I like to add wider black background. It really doesn't matter which one you select. Um, the AI will sometimes reverse that, make a black background or white background. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's, again, making it easier later on to separate out the background from the design, uh, which makes it easier to edit. So also go into the advanced settings and turn on the default negative prompt. Negative prompts are things that are basically telling the AI you want it to concentrate more on making, you know, accurate face or hands or whatever. And to do that, you have to negative prompt. I won't explain that too much. It's a default setting. Just click the default on and then return back to your prompt. Uh, the overall prompt weight should be around 60%. I wouldn't go much higher. You really don't want to overcook it. And, and for this model that I'm using, which is a Real Cartoon XL version 4, uh, do not select a refiner, or if you select a refiner, just a little bit, because you can you can really mess up design by putting too much refiner into it. I won't go into explaining refiner right now either, because it's not needed for this. And then you can go ahead and hit the generate button. Um, you can start with one picture, so you're not using a lot of credits, and you generate it out, and you see what you come up with. Once you have your image, be sure to upscale it to the maximum dimensions. You want it to look great when viewed in sizes larger than your phone. <laughs> so upscale it and then click on the three dots that are on our screen to bring up the download option. And remember, download it without the watermark because you're going to use it for something else. Next, you can use any app, any editing software that you have available to upload the image and actually edit it. 
Uh, three key points for editing the image if you wish to use it for printing, advertising, logos, whatever, anything commercial. Number one, make sure the image size is at least 12 by 12 inches or 30 centimeter by 30 centimeters because uh, it needs to be at least that size to be usable for many of printing projects. Uh, set the DPI to dots per inch. Set the DPI to a minimum of 300. Printers do not want it in a lower DPI. Your file would be larger if you go to higher DPIs like 600. Uh, 300 is a good printable size. Save the file as a .png and a JPEG. Save them as both. You're going to want to have one of each. Different printers like different types of files. Uh, one last big tip that I have for you. But first, please like and subscribe to this channel. There will be more tutorials and tips and tricks for Night Cafe and other AI apps coming along very soon. Okay, last tip. If you're trying to make commercial art, um, there are many online sites that you can set up a shop and sell merchandise as print-on-demand that you don't even have to uh, put any money up front or whatever. It's great. I highly advise you to think about your niche and your theme. Uh, where do you belong? Where are you going to excel? Find your style and be a good steward of generative AI. Don't use copyrighted material in your designs. Don't copy artist styles. Uh, be original. Be awesome. And thanks for watching.